Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. We'll see the Seattle Supersonics taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Johnson, and it's Peyton in a point guard. Shrimp misses. And it's Green with the ball for San Antonio. Pass to Parker. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Johnson a screen on Parker. Here's Kim. Back to Peyton. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Baseline jumper. Kemp, good. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Green, the pass to Duncan. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Parker. That's tipped. Peyton against Parker. And Peyton, here we go. Here's Kemp. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Two shots. Drops a first. Second free throw, no good. Parker. Leonard on the wing. Pass to Duncan. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Peyton against Parker. There's the screen by Johnson. Here's Kim. Back to Peyton. Just five on the clock with the teardrop. Here's Kemp. Pass to Hawkins. Parker against Peyton. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. San Antonio leading. Green finds Parker. Back to Green. With a second effort. And rejected. Here's Peyton. Into the lane. And he's in the books. Now one for two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Parker. Leonard outside. The three gets the three ball to go. Well, you're working the two-man game with Kawhi Leonard as your primary target. That's the first guy you need to stop. Outside Peyton. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Kim. Oh, misses the dunk. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. Green, the pass to Parker. Leonard. 
it outside. Spurs need to get one up here. Fires for three. Duncan, no good. Seattle trails. Here's Shrimp. Still no points. Now here's Peyton. Driving to the basket. Here's Hawkins. Shrimp passes to Peyton. From downtown. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Woo! Hard work creating the second chance opportunity. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Payton passes to Kim. The rebound by Duncan. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Peyton against Parker. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Pass to Splitter. Clock at six. Green for three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Well, this is the go-to shot for Danny Green. So good in his pre-shot preparation and catch and shoot. Johnson a screen on Parker. Payton passes to Shrimp. Back to Payton. And there's the screen. And he lobs it up top! <laughs> and for him, a slam like that is a signature move. Yeah, it's like he just jumps over everyone time and time again. Parker outside. Pass to Green. Here's Duncan. Leonard outside. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. Leonard's got five now. Well, the mid-range is certainly the area that he is most comfortable. Kawhi Leonard, that's where he started, folks. There's the screen by Johnson. Parker against Payton. Unloads. And good on the seven-footer. He's got nine. And the defense is there, but somehow, some way, he still gets it done. Parker outside. Pass to Green. Three-pointer. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, this guy is a lethal distance shooter. Danny Green lights out. And here's Peyton. Here's Hawkins. Back to Peyton. Johnson a screen on Parker. Payton passes to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Parker with it. Outside, Green. From outside, off the mark. Here's Shrimp. Pass to Hawkins. On the wing, Peyton. Parker defending. Here's Hawkins. Peyton with it. Puts up a three. That shot missing. And here's Parker. On the wing, Green. Leonard up top. Fires it. That one rolls around and rims out. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Payton passes to Hawkins. Pass to Kemp. Left side, Johnson. Here's Payton. Nice jump shot. Gary Payton. Here's Parker. Parker. 
Outside, Green launches it. Count it. His third and five attempts. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Peyton against Parker. They set the pick. And Peyton, here we go. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Peyton's got six. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Parker. Let's it go from 11. And McMillan pulls it down. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Here's Wingate. Rebounded by the Spurs. You can't ask for a cleaner look than that. He just couldn't deliver it. Out to the right wing. Here's Diaw. It's tipped. Here's McMillan. Parker defending. There's a screen. Here's McMillan. Pass to Kemp. Clock at four. 16 feet out. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. San Antonio leading. Here's Joseph. Puts it up from 17. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. After having trailed for a while, they could retake the lead. Nice effort to battle back and put themselves in this position. Here's McMillan. Parker defending. Releases. And the basket by McMillan. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Stripped it away. And he's going for the lob. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Inside. And he lays in the alley-oop pass. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Kemp. That one's good. Seven for ten now. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Pass to Joseph. Here's Ginobili. No made baskets yet. Here's 
Here's McMillan. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Kemp. It's rebounded by Bonner. Here's Ginobili. Off the mark there with a three. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Supersonics on top. They're up by three. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Supersonics. Well, right away, we've seen them finding points with solid post play. I mean, they're playing aggressively and fighting for it down there. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. So on the floor for Seattle. And it's Perkins in at the center, filling out the middle. And here's Mills from the arc. Kemp with the rebound. Kemp's got nine rebounds now. Here's McMillan. The rebound by Duncan. Duncan's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Ginobili. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. Outside Peyton. Pass to Kemp. The rebound by Diao. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Ginobili, pass to Williams. Here's Duncan. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Duncan's got six points. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Mills against Payton to the inside. Oh, power down with both hands. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Pass to Ginobili. There's a screen. Let's it go from deep. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. He was all alone on that one. He's got nine. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Diao. The kick out to Williams. Shot clock at six. Up top, Mills. The three is up. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Well, Patty Mills has proven to be a very capable scorer, but he can also be an outstanding passer. Here's Askew. Williams defending. Here's McMillan. Drains the triple. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Pass to Ginobili. Launches a three. Knocks it down from distance. Ginobili's got nine points now in the quarter. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Timeout called the Supersonics.
Joseph has checked in for San Antonio. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Here's Askew. Yet to see a basket. Outside Peyton. Five to shoot. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Here's Diaw to the paint. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Bearing his second of three attempts. Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Has to ask you. With his first shot attempt. Rebounded by the Spurs. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Outside Peyton. Shot from the wing. Peyton's got seven now in this quarter. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Mills, the pass to Diaw. Back to Mills. Here's Duncan. Pass to Diaw. Puts one up from 19. Again, the Spurs score. Well, the defense accustomed to Patty taking threes. That time he gets to the in-between game. Peyton against Mills. 16 feet out. The rebound by the Spurs. Duncan's got six rebounds now in the game. Now here's Mills. To the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Patty Mills is about winning, guys. And if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. McMillan passes to Peyton. Has to ask you. Outside paint. Tipped. Here's Joseph. And he's in the books. Now one for two. And that'll fire up your team. Great defensive play at one end and instant offense at the other. Here's McMillan. He's got five. Here's Peyton. Peyton. Great positioning on the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. San Antonio leading. Pass to Diaw. Here's the pick. Got it. Diaw's got six points. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Here's McMillan. On the wing, Peyton. He's guarded by Mills. Count it. Peyton's got 11 here in the quarter alone. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Pass to Duncan. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points.
Seattle trails. Pass to McMillan. Here's Kemp. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Now Parker. Here's Green. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Well, you talk about keeping your composure in a tight spot. Danny Green, not much of a window, able to finish on the inside. And there's the lob. Pass to Kemp. Here's Hawkins. Here's McMillan. Hits the trifecta. McMillan's got six here in the quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Back to Parker. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Spurs lead by five. Well, get it inside to a quality scorer and let this guy do his thing. Here's McMillan. Give him eight. Pass to Kemp. Down to five on the shot clock. The rebound by Diaw. And it's Green with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Back to Parker. Here's Splitter. He's scoreless. Parker passes to Diaw. Let's it fly. It's rebounded by Shrimp. To the left wing. Here's McMillan. There's the screen. Down low. Here's Kemp. And down it goes. Jam that one home. High value assist there. Finding him inside for the finish. Inside. Here's Parker. Tipped away. And as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. Now into the lineup for Seattle. Number three, Eric Snow. Outside. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Parker. Second chance effort. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. 
And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply Take outstanding. Well, uh, also, guys, what a start from beyond the arc. A huge part of their game today. That's going to help their spacing. And he knocks down the first one. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. 151 left to play in the first half. To the paint. Here's Kemp. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Oh, you love seeing him set that hard a screen, and boy, do they get a clean look off it. At the line for one. Here is San Antonio. Parker outside. With the floater. And that's two points on the layup. Parker's got six. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Johnson a screen on Parker. There's a minute 17 left in the first half. Hawkins, the pass to Shrimp. Just five to shoot. Pass to Hawkins. Shot is up. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. Hawkins has got his first bucket in this one. San Antonio leading. Green with the ball. He's got 11. Back to Parker. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Hawkins. Parker defending. There's 37 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Kemp. Four on the clock. And he banks in the layup. Kemp's got 26. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. And here's Parker. Give him eight points now. Hey, hey, right here. Come on, come on. Lays it up and banks it in. Parker's got eight points in the quarter. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Spurs up by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. On offense, here are the Spurs. It's a three-point game. We've got Green, 
And it's Leonard in at the three. That's the San Antonio five. Green, the pass to Duncan. Leonard outside. Pass to Duncan. At the line for your Spurs, Tim Duncan. First one falls. He does not get the second one. Seattle trails. Now Peyton. To the middle. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Parker passes to Duncan. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. Duncan's got 15. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Now here's Peyton. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Peyton's got 19 points. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Parker against Payton. Pass to Duncan. Here's Splitter. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. At the line for your Spurs, Diago Splitter. Ninety seconds into the second half now. Peyton against Parker. Now here's Peyton. Not a lot of room. Deflected. Here's Green. Eleven points in the game. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Parker against Payton. Six to shoot. Parker, no good. To the inside. Kevin. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Leonard. And here's Parker. Here's Duncan. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for your Spurs, Tim Duncan. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That's 
Both good from the line that time. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. They set a pick. Parker against Payton. Pass to Kemp. From 13. Yes, it's good. Kemp's got 32 points. Here's Parker. 10 points for him. Here's Splitter. Leonard for three. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Here's Seattle. They trail by three. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley -oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. It's green with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. They lead by one. Parker outside. Down low. Oh, he drains it. His six making nine tries so far. Always a good possession when you can get that kind of look. Payton against Parker. They set the screen. Outside Payton. To the middle. Six on the shot clock. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Well, that's almost an impossible screen to fight through, and he gets a wide open look because of it. One shot. And that one misses. San Antonio leading. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. We are talking about a solid 230 pounds. Kawhi Leonard's strength and his frame allows him to get shots off under duress. Free throw drops for Leonard. Boy, Kawhi Leonard lets his game do the talking. Yes, he's soft-spoken and quiet, but boy, he's a big-time player. Here's the teardrop. It's deflected. Parker passes to Leonard. Here goes Leonard. Here's Duncan. It's picked off. Peyton up top. 19 points in the game. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Spurs. I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. This one falls for him. And he 
he makes both free throws. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Leonard looking around to the paint. Here's Duncan. Misses from short range. Seattle trails. Here's Shrimp. Still without a bucket. There's the screen by Johnson. Payton passes to Shrimp. Outside Payton. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Here's Parker. Here he goes. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Parker's got 14 points for the game. Yeah, you've seen Kawhi evolve as a facilitator over the last several years. Love to see him setting up his teammates. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one's off. the second one. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Here's Parker. He's got 14. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Parker against Peyton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Peyton's got seven points here in the quarter. Tremendous individual play. I mean, challenging the heart of that defense. Ginobili, pass to Parker. Here's Splitter, covered by Johnson. That shot's good by Parker. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Throws it up high. And an emphatic jam on the lob. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. 
Ginobili, the pass to Diaw. Now here's Green. Parker outside. Pass to Splitter. Five on the clock. Here's Ginobili. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds now. Here's Hawkins. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. And it's now only a one-point Spurs lead. Parker with it. He's got 18. On the wing, Green. He drops it from range. Green's got 14 points. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Here's Kemp. He's got 38. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Here's Green. That's basket number six in eight tries. And right now, Danny Green is cooking. If you're the defender, you've got to stay attached. Payton passes to Hawkins. They set the pick. Inside. Outside Payton. Johnson a screen on Parker. Payton passes to Johnson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. At the line for the super size. Irvin Johnson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And misses. And the second free throw is good. San Antonio leading. Parker outside. Floats one up, got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. At the line for your Spurs, Tony Parker. One shot. Timeout called the Supersonics. They've committed enough fouls to be in the penalty already. Not good. They really need to concentrate on playing strong defense without getting too physical. Seattle trails. And here's Peyton. 24 points for him. Here's Askew. And there's a pick. Over Green. Askew, no good. So it's San Antonio now. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. 
Now here's Peyton. He's guarded closely. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Jerry Peyton at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Makes a first. Good on both. Now Parker, he's got 21. Pass to DL. Now here's Green. Here's DL. Back to Green. Parker, left side. Shot clock at six. It's good. Parker's got 13 in the second half. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. Pass to Perkins. And the lamp is good off the glass. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Here's Diaw. To the middle. Here's Ginobili. And the basket is good. Ginobili's got 11 points. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. Here's Perkins. Banked it in off the glass. Perkins has got four points now in the quarter. Outside, Green. That's to Bonner. Here's Diaw. Now here's Parker. It's rebounded by Askew. A minute 42 left to play in the third quarter here. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that foul on Danny Green. Vincent Askew, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. good as he hits both shots. 141 left in the third quarter. Pass to Ginobili. The kick out to Williams. Here's Diaw. Give him eight points now. Williams with the screen. Shot clock at five. It's stolen. Here's McMillan. Outside Peyton. Askew passes to Perkins. A minute four left in the third quarter. Rikowski is good. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Here's Ginobili. And McMillan pulls it down. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's the one he'd like to have back. Has to ask you. Over Williams. Ask you. No good. San Antonio leading. Williams with it. Peyton covering. Williams passes to Ginobili. 
Here's Parker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Parker's got 15 points in just the second half. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's McMillan. Give him eight. Pass to Peyton. Shoots over Parker. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got 11 points in the quarter. You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. And not so. The previous play are is going to review. check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And, of course, they want to make sure it was the right call. But I'm not sure how much it will impact this game. We'll see. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've gotten enough looks at it. The basket will not count. The quarter ended before he got it all. That was a great idea to give it a second glance. The replay system is available, so you've got to utilize it. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's the Spurs, up four. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. So on the floor for Seattle. And it's Perkins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. McMillan passes to Payton to the right side. Pass to McMillan. Five to shoot. Takes the three. Pure from three-point range. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Here's Joseph. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Duncan's got 19 points. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. On the wing, Peyton. He's guarded by Mills. Peyton's shot is good. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Chalk up two there. Duncan's got nine points here in the second half. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Here's Askew. Back to Peyton. Soft touch off the glass. Peyton's gotten four this quarter. A defensive lapse. Can't give him that kind of position. One of your keys defensively is do your work early and push him out of his comfort zone. They set the pick. Here's Joseph. Here's Duncan. Misses in close. Seattle trails. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Askew passes to McMillan. Here's Brakowski. Pass to McMillan. To take the lead. Rebound San Antonio. Duncan's got rebound number 11. From 18 feet away. Left side, Peyton. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. On offense, here are the Spurs. They've led by as much as 10. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. And the Spurs lead by three. You have to know the scouting report on Patty Mills. He is ready to fire as soon as he touches it. Here's McMillan. Has to ask you. Here's Peyton. The rebound by Duncan. Duncan's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Over to the left wing. 
There's the screen. Here's Ginobili. Drives to the hoop. And it's Perkins with a rebound. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Hey, turn around, turn around. Here's Askew. Nice finish from the low block. That one's good. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Pass to Joseph. Here's Ginobili. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. And here's Mills for three. The shot won't fall. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. McMillan passes to Payton. And there's the screen to take the lead. And he nails that one right through the heart. peyton has got 17 now, just in the second half. Here's Joseph. Puts it up from 12. Duncan, good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Duncan's got six here in the quarter. Timeout called, the Supersonics. The Spurs making a switch here. Green has checked in. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Supersonics coach was going over with his guys. He tried to loosen the tension a little, asking his guys, are we having fun? I know I am. Just relax out there and follow the game plan. We've got this. As always, Allie, we thank you. Here's Peyton. Pass to Hawkins. Back to Peyton. Fader on the way. Yes! He nails it! Peyton's got eight here in this quarter. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Diaw, the pass to Duncan. They swipe it. Here's Wingate. To the paint. Pass to Hawkins. Now here's Peyton. He's guarded by Mills. Clock at six. Crosses over. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got 38 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Pass to Ginobili. Here's Duncan. Here's Dio. And the three-pointer goes. Defensively, gotta close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Hawkins, the pass to Payton. There's a screen. Let's a floater go. He got a piece of it. Back come the Spurs in transition. And it's hammered home by Green. 
Well, just great intelligence there from Danny Green. This guy a pro at knowing when and where to attack the basket. Pass to Perkins. Back to Payton. The rebound by Duncan. Duncan's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Outside, Green. Here's Diaw from outside the arc. Here's Mills. And he comes up with a bucket. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Here's Peyton. He buries it from three. Peyton's got 41. He's never going to pass up that shot. The defense giving him way too much room. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. left to the wing. Parker against Payton. Parker outside. Down to five on the shot clock. To the inside. And here they come. Here's Hawkins. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Supersonics. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. San Antonio trailing here. Leonard passes to Splitter. And the layup is good off the glass. Coming down the stretch, it's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Here's Hawkins. Left side, Peyton. Shoots over Parker. Peyton, no good. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now here's Parker. 
Pass to Duncan. Here's Splitter. Leonard outside. The floater. Good. Now it's a three-point San Antonio lead. Well, everybody in the NBA should have the floater as part of their arsenal. Leonard makes it look easy. Here's Kemp. The jump hook and the basket good. A bank shot that time. Kemp's got 40 points. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Peyton against Parker. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Peyton against Parker. Johnson a screen on Parker. There's the triple. Connects from downtown. Peyton's got 44. And neither side willing to give an inch. This game has gone back and forth. Green finds Parker. Here's Splitter, covered by Johnson. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. Leonard can't get it to go. The Supersonics with the lead. Here's Shrimp. Payton passes to Hawkins. Off target from three-point range. Parker against Payton. There's the block. to Kemp. Here's Hawkins. Left side, Peyton. And Green comes to help. The three ball. The rebound by the Spurs. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Peyton against Parker. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Johnson. Duncan, the pass to Green. Shot clock at six. Peyton with a steal. Here's the break. Here's the three. Knocks down the long J. Peyton's got 47 points. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. Parker inside. Guarded by Peyton. Peyton with a steal. And he lobs it up to the rim. Kemp can't hit. And the idea was good, but the execution severely lacking. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. That shot's good by Parker. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. On the wing, Peyton. Parker defending. The floater. The rebound by the Spurs. Hit stolen by Johnson. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. 
his free throws good and that gives him a four point cushion. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're down by five. 11 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? And they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul. And knocks down the three. Absolutely no fear. Kawhi Leonard welcomes these moments. He relishes these moments. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. 14 foul. At the line for the Super Sonics. Gary Payton taking two shots. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and he hits both free throws here and it's a four-point ball game time called here San Antonio decides to talk it over they're behind by four eight seconds left in the fourth Eight seconds left in the final quarter. Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. It's great whenever Danny Green is forcing the issue. He puts the defender in a tough spot there. He makes the first of three. And that narrows the lead down to just three. He makes the second free throw. And that brings him within two here. And so he's good on all three free throws. And that narrows the gap to one. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is it. Timeout called the Supersonics. They're leading by one. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. three-point game a bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively can they tie it oh and he can't make the shot to force overtime so it's Seattle picking up the win with the late victory they upset plenty of these hometown fans they really should take this win to heart when the pressure was on they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it and that's gonna do it tonight folks for our broadcast for Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching tonight's game. Now let's check our New Balance Player of the Game.